Today we figure out whether we make it or don't make it in the final four for Homestead. We've pulled off a lot of crazy stuff, but uh, this is probably the tallest order yet. I mean, we're going up against a bunch of guys who, I mean, every one of these guys could win probably any week. And uh, I think the points are a little screwed up here because it says I'm at zero and Chase Briscoe's at like zero. But obviously not. He's got like 13 more points than I do. So either way, we're we're in a little bit of a hole. We're not we're not on the good side. And uh, coming up to Texas, you know, if we win, we go to Homestead. But if we don't win, then uh, we're gonna have to close it off at Phoenix, and we don't have a short track car. So I feel like this is almost a must win. But I don't know how we're gonna do that. So the only thing I got on my side are my freshly shaven balls. That's right. With the brand new, just released lawnmower body trimmer 3.0. You too can have some squeaky clean balls. With a brand new design, upgraded motor, upgraded battery, and now an LED light to see where you're trimming. This trimmer fits great in the Perfect Package 3.0 kit. That's right, along with the new trimmer, you get your blades refilled every three months, along with the anti-chafing ball deodorant and the Crop Reviver Refreshing Spray. For a limited time, subscribers get two free gifts as well, the Shed Travel Bag and the High Performance Anti-Chafing Manscaped Boxer Briefs. On top of that, we've got a code. At checkout, you can use code WIND20, 20% off and free shipping. Your balls will thank you. Well, on to Texas. I just realized the, the logo, it's super hard to see. You can kind of see it right there. Underneath the logo, it says November 4th, 2017. <laughs> cool. All right. I'm not looking forward to this race. I hate Texas. John Hardy, Michek is well prepared for this race. Also pole winner. Ross Chastain in the back. I was really hoping we'd see some uh, playoff guys go to the back, but that's not the case. Uh, yeah, I'm starting 25th. <laughs> Car drives like ass. This, ta this track drives like ass. So, like, We're going green. Ready? I don't know what the hell, man. I, uh, there's just not really much I can do. We're held back so much by the... Straight away, the game takes away from you when you're in your career mode, so. Yeah. We're going to try our best, though. You never know. We won some stupid ones. And uh, anything can happen, I guess, as well. I mean, we can always get bad luck out of whoever we're racing against, which is uh, just in front of us, Chase Briscoe, Todd Reddick in points. So, um, of course, we don't want to see any of those guys win today. But, uh <laughs> I don't really know. We're just going to have to give it our all and we'll see where we come out. Jeff, don't mind him up. Sneak on by here. That's, a, oh, that's another thing. It gets, it's kind of floaty in turn, in turn four. I really don't like that. Thanks, Jeff. There's Christopher Bell. Yikes. Oh, why must you push me out of the corner? Why? Why? Thanks for your help, though. All right, listen here, Brandon Brown. Out, wave them off. You're just gonna you're gonna push me on the exit of the corner, push me clear down the front stretch, and you're going off into turn one. You just decide you're gonna poke your little nose off in there, where you can poke that nose back and last. All right, what the fuck you want from me? Either push me or don't. Don't just push me for half a lap and like, oh, I'm not gonna push anymore. Sorry, just gonna stick it in here real quick. See if you noticed. I noticed. I noticed. Well, I'm gonna stay out. At least this will put me on the bottom. There's no point in going to the back because tires ain't. Ain't that worn yet, but um, yeah, so Christopher Bell and Justin Haley are back here, which is cool. We need them to be, but uh, those aren't really the guys we need them, you know. Uh, we don't need, <laughs> I'd appreciate it if it was uh, Chase Briscoe or uh, Tyler Reddick, but uh, that's not the case. Justin Allgaier up there taking the lead. Uh, that doesn't really help either. That really doesn't help. There's Gary Smithley. He's going to get yeeted here. In about a second. Still there. Oh, unless I clear him. That was probably for the best there, buddy. Oh, hell. Still there. All right, you're clear. Outside, outside. Mm. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Nah, he's pulling me back. Oh, brother. Careful, oh, I think we're okay. He's slow. He sucks. Man, look at that cluster up there. Jesus. They're like, oh, they're everywhere. There's cars everywhere. Damn, we're not even close to stage points. Ooh. Stay on the bottom here. There we go. Hello. I'm here now. Nope. Nah, I'm not. Only I had, like, straightaway speed, man. That's all. Look at Christopher Bell run the high line. What is this? This ain't... This ain't... I don't know what this is, but it ain't a high line track. Careful. 
I agree. I had about enough of your rear end, to be honest with you. I'm going to take this pass now. I don't have enough straight. I didn't have enough straightaway speed to get close enough, but I got close enough that time, damn it. Hey, Ray. How we doing? How we doing? Racing you clean. Racing you clean like I race you clean every week. Except for when you're a dick. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Free spots. See? We didn't have to be a dick about it. You can just give it to me, all right? See? We're cool. Oh, that was the last. Okay. Yep. P17. We suck. Let's see here. Tyler Reddick didn't get any stage points, which is cool. Uh, Chase Briscoe did. He finished P7. Not awful. Cole Custer up in there. It's all right. Jeffrey Earnhardt has really turned his season around. Good for him. Yeah, not, uh, it could have been worse. Could have been better. All right. Well, hey, I didn't, um, for whatever reason, Jeffrey Earnhardt lost 13 spots. <laughs> Don't know why. I didn't lose any spots, which is cool, so we get to restart P17. I think that might be the first time I didn't lose any spots uh, so far in this year's game, which is fun. Hey, buddy. Can you, like, not? Can you just, like, not? Can you just, like, can you, can you not? Thanks. Jeffrey throwing blocks. I don't I wouldn't be throwing blocks if I was Jeffrey Earnhardt. Just saying, just saying. I wouldn't be on my ass if I was Ray Black either. Fucking I Fuck yourself. I wouldn't give him a caution for that, but you know whatever. Whatever. Well, I guess I'm gonna stay out. Alright. Would anybody else like to fuck with me? I didn't think so. Let's get it. I still P17. It takes a minute for these tires to get going. Kind of like similar to Kansas, but that's the thing. We're still not... I don't know. We just can't... This track just isn't... I don't know. It's just not as good. It really is. And Kansas is a lot more fun. A lot more multi-groove. This... Well, despite what you see out of the AI cars, this track's really only one groove for the players, so... Who's this behind me? Oh, this is Ross Chastain. He's a rival. Fun. Well, he can go back over the very black, too. Oh, oh my god. He, oh, 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 there's one up and over back there. I, oh, no. Oh, my god. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I didn't even have to do anything that time. Tell me how my ass tastes. Oh, flying cars. Oh, shit. <laughs> Leave it in NASCAR heat. I knew we'd get a shitty fucking replay. What is that? Maybe we'll get a different camera angle this time. This was pretty damn incredible. Uh, yeah, okay, it's... Ooh. Oh, yeah! All right! Eat shit, Ross Chastain! Whoever that was, they might be scraping him out of the car. Holy hell. Well, I'm gonna stay out again. Oh, boy. Well, at least they gained a spot. I'm gonna lose spot right off the jump here, probably, but as I get stuck up here on the high side. Oh, that was... That was death back there from what I saw. I don't know if I'll be able to get a replay of that or not, but uh, probably not because this game in the replay mode stinks. Only got two laps to go. Man, the stage points are right there in front of us. But, but, but damn, like we just don't quite got enough. Oh, Chad, thank you. Oh, can I sneak my way in here, please? You're not in the playoffs, so I, I hope you understand. I gotta go. It's that time of the season I can drive like a dick and pull the playoff playoff card. Pardon, there's a wall up there, champ. There's 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 walls up there, champ. Oh. Yeah, you'll learn. You know, pinchy. Pinchy pinch. I don't like being pinched. Well, at least Tyler Reddick's right there in front of me. <laughs> so there's uh there's that. That's the thing, I gotta outscore him. And by a good bit too, because he's like 10, 13 points ahead of me, 14 points. At least he's not getting any playoff points, but but Briscoe is. Justin Haley got a point or two that time. Damn, but he damn. Hell, everybody's pitting. We're going to come down here. I really can't do anything to make us think faster. Like, I got about as much tape as I can put on it. Maybe I can make it a little looser, but I really don't want to do that. But I'll try anyways. I'll try to get a little bit of speed out of it. All right. Two, yeah, two spots lost. Thanks for always trying this entire season, Pit Crew. Appreciate it. No matter how many thousands of dollars I've gone into upgrading the team, they still lose me spots every single time. Love to see it. All right, well, this is the final stage. We got 26 laps. 
18 laps of fuel. This is about. This is probably going to be about our only chance right here. You know, maybe we can get lucky. Probably not, but you never know. Oh, I got to run. Oh, I'm about to put this thing in the grass. Oh, my God. Shout out to Tyler Reddick for actually giving me room there. He didn't have to. Oh, you can hit me around the exit of the damn car. Oh, I can't stand it. Can't stand it. And then he, like, he can't even stay up up my ass down the straightaway. So, like, what's even the point, brother? What's even the damn point? Yeah, you gonna clock me on the end of the corner. Fuck up my corner. Look at this, how far it shows me up the damn track. hi yay yay What a dumbass idea. Why would that be a thing anywhere except for Daytona Tadega? I understand it maybe on the straightaways, but, like, why would you push in the corner? Oh yeah, 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 and then you, then, then, look at this, look, look at this. Clear low. Clear all around, man. Yellow's out, back Dick. Down. Well, I'm gonna pit. There's a chance I might be able to stretch this hoe on fuel. I'll take any chance I can get, I guess. To the back we go. This is about our only chance. Fucking who's that, Josh Williams? You dick, you, you try to help, you dick me up, and then you take advantage of me, and I squeeze you in the corner and eat shit. Well, that caution might have came out a little bit too early. Ooh, 18 estimated, 20 laps remain. That's about our only damn chance. How much you want to bet? Now, I had somehow went caution free last week. How much you want to bet it on this week? I'm just going to try to save as much as I can here. While maintaining with everybody here. Because everybody's still got to make a pit stop at least. If we can get to that pit stop, we'll be alright. We can hopefully pin a lot of these guys at least. And at least this way as well. I'm so I'm far back enough. Whoever wrecks, I can tell who does it. And they'll get yelled at. Well, we're saving. Oh, yeah, look at that. 16 and 17. And we just went down to 15, so... I think if this if this goes green, I could save it, but that's the thing. We gotta get this thing to go green. It's gonna be tough, but I'm saving a little bit here and there. All right, already I've got it about a lap short, I think. Pretty close, a little over a lap short. So that's I mean we're making good progress here. I'm gonna probably start trying to get on it here and sneak by a couple of these guys. I'm a lot faster. I don't want to give up too much time because I could definitely save a good bit and stay on it you know what I mean but I really saved hard there behind LA Sadler and I saved a good bit so the only problem is going to be the rivals I should be able to step on it and go straight by these guys I think maybe not I have to choose my battles wisely here let's go right by him that car in front of you is coming to the pit Oh, things you love to hear. We just got to get these cars to pit road for their pit stops. If we can start lapping cars. Oh, man. There's only one car, though, so I don't, I don't know what that's all about, but okay. I think that was Ross Chastain, though, so I was a rival. All right, so we've got it to just over a half a lap short, which is uh, that's about the green light. If we can get it to about half a lap, you can usually have enough to get it all the way back. So I think we can just about step on it now. Maybe make up a little bit of ground here just in case. But sorry, still back off it a little bit early here and there. We're uh, we're just about good here. We just got to finish this one off. Well, Greg Golden's Greg Golden's been in it. There we go. Things you love to see. Pit stops. Oh yeah, you can see the cars load up funny as they're about ready to pit. That's kind of weird. All right, all right, all right. Well, let's come around here one more time, lap these suckers. Put me up to P3. No Granks in the leader. Uh, I don't know who's in front of me. I don't even really care. It's Mike Harmon. It's Mike Harmon actually went in front of Noah Granks in there. Um, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I don't know what just happened there. Okay, that would have been for the lead. What the hell? Is that not Noah Granks up there? I don't know. All right, we're lapping. We're lapping, people. We're lapping, people. This is good. This is good. This is good. 
I should have stepped on it probably a little bit more, but uh, that's okay. All right, we got five laps. Chase Briscoe is next man behind me, and he is up there in front of me. So. Uh, yeah, we just got to finish this one off real quick, and we'll keep on looking at the fuel here. We're still at five. Oh, yeah. Go oh, ahead, everybody. Just went down to four right there. So that's okay. I'd be hitting zero right about in three and four. That'd be close enough. Just got to make sure we don't get any cautions. I'd like to keep as many of these guys on the lead lap as I possibly can, but to hell with it. We're committed now, so. Brandon Jones going to pass me on the damn outside of Texas. All right. <laughs> okay. Fuck! Fuck it, he fuck. It was Brandon Brown, wasn't it? Because he's pity. Fuck! Well, it's showing nine on the lead lap. So we're going to come away with a better finish probably than what we were supposed to get. That would have been the win. That uh, put us on the homestead. Well, P9, we got the freshest tires. I'm not going to drive up here and win, but we're going to right, make the there. best of it. Yeah. So we, I knew we wouldn't be able to go green. Damn it. That was it, baby. We were going to make it to. Typical. Two laps to go. I'm just going to send it. If anybody gets in my way, fuck them. But I need as many points as I possibly get right here. I saw Reddick was trapped a lap down. Chris Bell obviously is not. He's right here in front. We got to finish in front of him, too. I don't know about his stage points. I don't think he really got any, so... Oh, boy, I really wanted to stick it in there, but that's okay. Chase Briscoe to the lead. He's probably going to win this thing, which that sucks. Unless Cole Custer wants to go up there and do something about it, but doesn't look like it. No, he's running the top. Okay, that's cool. There's Justin Haley. God, this thing's so fucking tight, I couldn't turn. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Look at that parachute. Ugh. Oh. Oh, I might be able to... Nope, never mind. Well, P8. It's not much, but it's it's honest. That was a heck of a run. You got a top 10 finish. Thanks. It should have been better. Now we're going to go off into Phoenix and suck ass, probably. Damn it! Look at the results. Chase Briscoe along now with Cindric on their way to the Homestead Final Four. So that makes it even that harder, a little bit harder on us. Cole Custer with the P2. Justin Haley finished just ahead of us. Finished just ahead of Christopher Bell. So we're keeping it close. That's not really that big of a deal. Uh, we finished ahead of Tyler Reddick. A P16 day, not great for him. Of course, Cindric had an awful day. 31st for no apparent reason. So, here's how it shakes out. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Well, it's... Uh, Yikes. I mean, it's it's possible. It's not probable. Hello. You're really improving out there. Just keep pushing. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Cole. Another, wow! Another top ten for Adam Michael Cozy Jr. Awesome. Thanks, Tommy. Brandon Brown, that was some pretty awful driving last race. Fuck yourself. Noah Gregson, you aren't the only one out on track. You're right, I'm not. Move the fuck over, Noah. I can't stand when AI cars don't use the rest of the damn track where they don't go to the damn wall and they pinch, pinch my shit up. Fuck off. What do you have to say for yourself? I say fuck off. Move the fuck over. You're pinching and shit. Move the damn wall. Or the outside car. Go to the fucking wall or go close to it. Check. Tell already. Hey, since we are best friends, I feel like I can tell you this. That last race was super dirty. Does this mean we aren't going Oh, brother. No, no, we're not going kayaking, Tyler. Too busy working on the damn playoffs. Go faster, too. I hit you in the butt because you weren't going fast enough. I gave you a little bump draft. You got upset. Grow a pair. Jeez. All right, well, uh, ooh, yikes. 90, 90, 85, but uh, eight mismatch penalty because we don't have a short track car. And again, we went with the road course because there's a there's, I think there's more road courses on the schedule <laughs> than short tracks. Maybe not quite, but um, yeah, honestly, I didn't think I'd make it this far. So looking back, you know, it would have been nice to have a short track car. But you gotta understand, I uh, I won, I swept Bristol without a short track car, 
It's just when you go to Phoenix, since the straightaways are just a little bit longer, and you know how they do with the straightaway speed, it's just it's stupid. So I'm not totally putting all the blame on myself. I put the, I, I blame the game because it's stupid. You shouldn't be down like 200 horsepower on the straightaways at short tracks. Don't even make any damn sense. Phoenix is barely a short track, but still, like, shit. 82, 82, 79. Yikes. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> what? Steven Light is having a stellar weekend. Steven Light is, is pole winner. What? Right. Okay. Um, yeah, this isn't going to go well. I, um... I guess I'm starting 30th now, since Garrett Smithley went to the back. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna give it all I got. Obviously, it's it's pretty pretty apparent. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna transfer, but uh, you never know. This game's pretty stupid sometimes. Uh, we're gonna need probably Tyler Reddick and Justin Allgaier both to spontaneously combust at some point during this race, which probably won't happen. But again, you never know. Look at this. That's why I don't like this game sometimes. This game, let me tell you, it's, it's done this for years. There is nothing more upsetting, more discomforting, more discouraging than having Joey Gates out straight away that by like that much. If you've ever, like, there's got to be something seriously wrong with your car if you're getting blown by on the straightaway that damn bad. Look at this! Would you like to blow by me too, Chad? I'm sure you would. I can corner just fine, but it's like as soon as I get back in again, uh, we've been over this like a million damn times. If NASCAR E5 is like this, I'm gonna, I'm, I might lose my fucking mind. How hard is it to make a challenge without taking away all your damn straightaway speed? How hard is it? Apparently pretty damn hard. It just feels so half-assed, which now. it is, Car but like damn, just a little bit of effort next time, man. Maybe we could change the handling of the car a bit. Make that a challenge or something. It's okay to start off slow, but it shouldn't be this slow. It shouldn't be this slow. Especially for small teams. There's a lot of things that comes down to slowness. And it's not all speed, let me tell you. There's a lot of things that make speed. Handling, tire, Wally, Jesus, Jeffrey! Where are you going, dude? Patience. And just like that, That's officially top 10 in the last two races and then just running last on speed the next. That in itself doesn't even make any sense. Imagine like Justin Allgaier. <laughs> like going out there and winning a couple races over the course of the season, right? Right, and then finishing, you know, top 10 in the last two races and just coming to Phoenix and just running last on speed. Just getting just getting beat straight up by John Jackson and Jeff Green. and Yeah, because that makes sense. Come on, John. You want, you want some of this punk? Damn, we're already two laps to go. Oh, at least I got the spot. Cool. Man. This is stupid. In my defense, I didn't buy a short track car because you should need to buy a short track car on top of everything else. Like, you need a speedway car. You need something for the plate tracks. I didn't get a super speedway car. But, like, again, there's only like, two super speedway races. But, like, out of any of anything, road courses and short tracks... Are the two things you should be able to make the most out of which i did i won two bristol races sweat bristol with a fucking speedway car i bought i bought one for the road course because if you don't buy a road course chassis you're like six seconds off and because they have long straightaways and you just like can't go fast on long straightaways without the right chassis which it makes no sense that's why this game just like i wake up in the middle of the night with hot sweats just like it 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 bugs the living shit out of me it does it does what the fuck am I supposed to do, huh? Nothing. <sighs> Brother. Well. <laughs> There's literally nothing we can do. We just gotta ride this one out and, um... Imagine making it all the way to the second to last race. You're still in the playoffs, right? Right, right? You're, you're like 15 points out and you ride last. <laughs> the entire race. Imagine that. Imagine that. Man, what was it? Uh, what was that one year? Uh, Kevin Harvick was in a must-win situation uh, in the Cup Series, and he came to Phoenix, and of course he's really good at Phoenix, so he won. Imagine if he came to Phoenix and just rode last the entire race. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine if he was back there duking it out with Derek Cope and uh, 
Uh, Reed Sorensen, I don't know who was back there, but we'll take an educated guess. Imagine that. Now, I'll bet. That's Stuart Haas Racing. Very cool, very cool. We're gold mine racing. We're a bunch of fucking idiots. But us bunch of fucking idiots managed to win, what, how many races this season? Three. And uh, if I can win three races, I can figure out how to get the car to go fast enough to not run last in Phoenix. Thank you, Chad. That's my door. Well, I did add a little bit more tape, so. Yeah, P32, baby. And just, just think. This race wouldn't have mattered if some dumb, stupid son of a bitch wouldn't have wrecked or blown a tire or something with like three laps to go at uh, Texas. We had it won. The strategy was perfect. But no! Why would we let him have that? Somebody's smoking. That's the end of the stage. I don't even know who that is. Craig Galding? I don't know. Well. Nothing really we can pull here. Uh, I guess I could stay out if I really wanted to, but uh, I don't really want to, so. I lost one spot on the pit stop. No surprise there. Still, uh, uh, what are we, how many races? We we're on like race 32 or whatever. We're uh, 0 for 32 on gained pit stops, and that's multiple pit stops a race. That's pretty impressive. That's gotta be a new record, I think. Tyler Reddick's in the lead. <laughs> cool, very cool. Somebody stuck on pit road. That's probably whoever just uh, created that one. Yeah, you go ahead, everybody. Go ahead, Morgan. You have better things to accomplish. Yep, go ahead. Well, at least I can't finish last at this point. I'm coming, Morgan. I'm coming back, baby. Let me just cut that absolute hell out of the course. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we come. Battle for last. Heating up, everybody. Oh, 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 oh. Big ol' me running out of the corner. Here we come. Car high now. Ugh, slide. Almost pulled off the slider. Get out of him. You're off. My favorite part is how I was so much slower than everybody on the straightaways, and now all of a sudden, the tires e kind of equal out to where I get the tire advantage. I mean, it just goes to show you how, like, just, like, lame it all is, really. Because all tires really equal or straightaway speed. Obviously, the handling goes goofy after a while, but, like, on the straightaway, that's that's really really what it is. That's the thing. It's like you don't even lose time when you drift in this game, which like, and it's very apparent because if you ever watching the AI cars, like the last video I did, Christopher Bell when he was drifted, he drifted just as fast as me and he got back on it, <laughs> and he uh, he just kept on going faster than me. I don't know. It's so weird. Where it's all like everything's just run through that straightaway speed, man. Fuck, it's so so disappointing. Well, I got eight laps left to fuel, but I only got 14% on my rate rear, so I've just been kind of drifting around here. I never really... I bought a tire once in this game. It was on PS4. So, fuck it. I, mean, I don't care. I'm going until I run out of fuel or I blow a tire. One of the two. Oh, hey, it's the leader. Hey, leader. Hey, I remember when I was one point behind you entering today's event. Good times, good times. Yeah, I'm ready to blow a right rear tire, so you might want to watch the fuck out here. Uh, Car out it, hold on. Oh, oh, pardon. Sorry, I'm kind of sliding there. Oh, oh, pardon. We're good. We're best friends. Oh, hey, yeah, there it goes. Ooh, that sucks. Oh, there's cars on pit road. Hey, everybody. All right, well, that was exciting. <laughs> my right rear is negative 1%. What the fuck does that even mean? Alright, I hope my wheel's straight. It probably isn't. Right, like, what's the it's fucking matter ready. anyways if it Are is? Okay, it's straight. I wasn't sure if it was going to be, but... Oh, well, we got four freshies on it, but now we're a lap down. Um, where am I? What the hell? No, I'm not a lap down. Why? I, what? Why am I not a lap down? That doesn't even really make any sense at all. I was, I was a lap down, and there was like... It, I think it showed three cars in front of me a lap down. The leader was all, I wrecked second. And I, and I hit pit road. I didn't say, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Maybe this game is trying to give me a freebie. But like, thanks. You couldn't have given me my 200 horsepower I deserve on the straightaways? No. Okay. That's another thing though. <laughs> like, I love how my tire cuts in the middle of fucking straightaway. 
I mean, I don't know if you ever know, like, if you ever watch her, like, yeah, I mean, it makes sense a little bit to lose a tire, but, like, like, if, if we, if I went back and calculated how much, like, the tire percentage went down while I was on the straightaways, it'd probably be at least a quarter of it, and that doesn't even make any fucking sense. You burn your fucking tires when you're burning it through the fucking corner, not on the damn, I mean, again, maybe a little bit on the straightaway here and there, but, like, it doesn't even make any fucking sense. It makes sense if it was really, really low and it was cording up to fucking load up into the corner and the thing needs shit. Not just in the middle of the damn straightaway. Oh, we ran out of percent. Your tire blew. Because a lot of this game just don't make a whole lot of sense. It's just kind of half-assed. I feel like a lot of these things, like, people just didn't really think about. Well, I'm thinking about them. And I want to make sure that NASCAR 85 is full-assed. Well, white flag. I mean, I was, I was, I knew this was going to happen. But, uh, hey, we tried. I mean, it's about all I do is get bent over by this game. Three laps from winning Texas that would have put us into the final four on a track we had a chassis for. But no! Oh, 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 oh. Nobody fucking nope! Wow, I thought we had a better car than that today. The fuck you did! Well, Tyler Reddick with the win, that puts him on to the final four, and that leaves one more point spot. Um, and I guess that goes to Justin Allgaier. No, I guess that goes to Cole Custer, I think, since he was the highest in on points without a win, I think. But obviously, you finished below those guys, so I don't know how stage points factor into that, so we'll check here in just a second. Oh, there you have it. Holy good Jesus the Lord. Cole Custer, oh my God. Oh. Well, it wasn't even really close with Tyler Reddick's win. I mean, he was the only guy that you could have pointed over. Cole Custer plus 50. <laughs> oh, my. So, oh, we ended up minus 89. Well, that was kind of stupid. I tried. I tried. Would we have won Homestead? Probably not. Should we have made it there? Kind of, yeah. Guess we're going to the Cup Series. Stick around there for a while. <laughs> Mad about enough Xfinity. They say you can't win them all for a reason. Yeah, you know, Brandon Brown. A perfect race by Michael Cozy Jr. And if anybody asks, yes, we are totally going can No, we ain't. No, we ain't. Plans are canceled. I'm done. Hey, Michael Cozy Jr., until today, we've always had great clean races. You didn't mean to hit me that last race, did you? Probably not, but who knows? Who gives a fuck? Michael Cozy Jr. and I are best friends, which makes the race kind of weird. Yeah, shut your ass up, Justin. You didn't make a Final Four either. Cole Custer, uh, at Michael Cozy Jr., you need to clean up your driving or else stay home. You completely ran into me last race. Yeah, I blew a fucking tire, you cocksucker. Enjoy Homestead. Must be nice to have an extra 200, 300 horsepower at the short tracks, huh? So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. One more for the Xfinity Series on the Homestead. We'll finish this one off, and then uh, we'll get going on the Cup Series, I suppose. So once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. But no! Oh, 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 oh! Nobody fucking.